Ghetto. It's the anthem. Ha <laughs> Your case. Let them have it. I want to hear from the people in relationships that are living together. Make some noise. You see, see that? See that? See the Indian man is happy. Look at that shit. Just cooking your japatis all day, in it. Come on, Gita. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. We are hungry. Yeah, man. It's good. It's good life, man. Long relationships are hard. Like when you live with a woman, yeah? Who's ever woke up next to their beautiful partner lying next to them in their bed? I just wanted to punch them in the fucking throat. How I end up with this piece of shit here? <laughs> Don't punch them too hard, not too hard. <laughs> Just enough to make them gag and a tear come out their eye. That's it, no. Don't take it too far. Best thing to do, wait till they're sleeping on their back and the windpipe's exposed. Just wait till it's exposed. Pow, go back to sleep. <laughs> what happened? What happened, baby? What happened? But sometimes it's not even your partner's fault, you know? You know when you feel upset with them? Sometimes it's not their fault. Like, who's ever dreamt that their partner cheated on them? Jesus Christ, the shit, it's upsetting! Because they always do some shit in the dream to your best friend that they never do to you, innit? Like, swallow. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. That shit upset you, boy. You wake up. I remember one time I was so vexed. In the afternoon, I'm walking past the kitchen window, watching, hi, baby. I said, I'm fucking watching you, bitch. I was upset. But I was, do you know what? I like to people watch. I was watching people when, in the foyer and shit like that and whatever else. I'm going to be honest with you people. I'm not going to lie to you. I believe that 95% of men, women, I don't know if you're going to agree, are dumb as shit. Yes, 95%. Make some noise, ladies, if you agree with me. Yeah, 95% of men. You know why? Because we need to stop buying you drinks and taking you out to dinner for no good fucking reason. Fuck you lot. Yeah, I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, you know, I you know, I didn't realize till recently. You know that women got with no money in their purse. I never knew this. Yes, got with no money in their purse. You know, go home drunk in the cab eating food. No, it's not right. <laughs> Because even the ugly girls getting in it as well. I've seen you. I've seen you. You know when you go to buy the pretty girl drinking it? Yeah, yeah. Just as you're about to order, two of our ugly friends pop out from nowhere looking thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch! Now I've got to buy free drinks. <laughs> yeah, because we can't do that, innit? I don't care how good looking you are as a man. Brethren, go out next week with no money in your wallet. You see what happened? No money. Man be about to buy, you know? Ooh! <gasps> Water. Water. <laughs> Women will be just stepping past him. You know, can I have a white wine spritzer, please? Uh, security, get rid of this waste man for me, please. Yeah. Mess us up, man. You could be there dying. Your lips dry and crispy. Can't even smile because your lip will split and pure blood spill down your shirt. All matter build up in your eye. You know matter, yeah? Yeah. Not the soft one. Not the soft one. You know that dehydrated matter, that sharp diamond one. You know that one that. You know the one you try and take it out of your eye, scratch up the hole of your face in it. <laughs> then you have to go to work the next day with African people asking you, excuse me, brother. Mm -hmm. uh, which tribe are you from? <laughs> <laughs> 